In this challenge, you have to race against the clock. Welcome back. Well, that sounds easy. How fast can a clock go? I uh, no, some clocks are pretty fast. Patrick, don't you know that time flies? Bye. If I want to crash the game, I'd actually bring up the menu on this Xbox right now and show you just how fast this clock is. Because it's 534 right now. But that's not what this clock on the no, Xbox is going to say. But once I didn't take out the garbage for a month and it had flies. Is that what you mean? Oh, he had the line. Look at that. Good job, Figgerback. You'll have to fly along if you want to beat this time. Do three laps in less than a set time, and I'll give you a reward. I still don't know how to pronounce his voice actor's name. Also, I never noticed. Is Minnie wearing mascara? I never looked very close at her eyes. Oh, he's only have the luck of a horn. Alright. It took a lot, takes a lot longer than I remembered to unlock the alternate horn for the paddy wagon. Okay, I should probably be picking up some of these nitros that I'm whizzing right past. I'm meaning to pick them up, but I'm not. It's like slalom. Anyways, I don't really remember what the fastest route through here is. I don't know if I ever really figured out what the fastest route is. So I just have a route using most turbos, actually, maybe. Although this part, I just made a tighter turn than I would have if I went to the right. So it's probably... There are definitely some routes that are faster than others. I don't know if it's faster to take the top or bottom here, for instance. How many turbos do I have left? Oh, hit that button. Black and white buttons normally show you... All sorts of numbers, but didn't this time. Anyways, we're making fine time. No problem. First time challenge is never really a big deal anyways. Oh, come on, I did not touch that. It's basically just... Don't mess anything up. I don't know why the one thing that changes... In this race, or on this course, every single time. Or, rather... Actually changes after your initial run-through is that that last shortcut opens up, that ramp appears. Otherwise everything stays the same after your first run through. You still have the truck there and all that stuff, so you don't really have any differences between. Great. Whoa! Game! That's the wrong texture. That's something, the Xbox 360 does that sometimes, it'll load the wrong texture on original Xbox games. It must have some texture, texture cache accuracy issues. Which is kind of funny. I don't know what texture that was, but it's not the right one. Yeah, so once you get to the third lap, that ramp will appear, and I'll be able to go up on top of there. But everything else that we made change on the first run through here... Do I have all the, yeah, I have all the trash chests here? Everything else we made change on the first run through here, it's it's still changed. It's just like it was on the third lap. Which still weirds me out. Like I can outrun the turbos. Perfect. It's a beautiful racing line. It's not only so much a race. No, it's, I guess it's kind of a race line, but it's most just that I, I avoided the. Hot sauce. Okay. Hey. Oh wait, darn it. I was thinking about the Valve Bottom remake for a moment. I was about to say. I've seen another windmill falls. Or whatever it was. I was about to say, in the remake it would be awesome if they had head to head paddy wagon racing. <laughs> but they're remaking Valve Cream Bottom, not this game. And that, this part of the level looks pretty uninteresting from the top down. Got a glimpse of the tops of all the buildings. Although I still would love to see an expansion on Spongebob related things in that remake. There very well might not be any such stuff to see. That might not be the fastest route to take, I have no idea.
Yeah, I'm actually not making very good time. I'm not sure what... Wrong texture. I don't know. I don't really know what the right route to take here is. Whatever it is, it's not this one. I might actually run out of time. Darn. I think it's because I took the la wrong route on that last lap. Jeez. Okay, well darn. I said stuff that I don't want to cut out then. In that, uh, in that one attempt. Darn. See, so yeah, I guess I just shouldn't take that jump on the last lap. I think that was what slowed me down so much. Ah. So I think I was making fine time on each lap until then. Excuse me? Wait. What just happened? What just happened? Wait. Huh? I'm confused now. What? Oh, too far to the left that time. I'm not sure what... Just... Whatever just happened is what, what, not what was supposed to happen, I don't think. Um, game? What was that? The lap... It, I... I had to repeat a lap! Why'd I have to repeat a lap? Okay. Interesting. I'll probably cut out most of that. Except for having to repeat the lap. But that was really strange. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. I guess I'll probably just cut out most of this attempt too, since you've already seen me run through this once and then solve the glitch, which is the only interesting part of the other run. So I'll see you when you finish this. Okay. Worked this time. Pretty good time too. Look at that. Don't know what the deal was there. You've won the time challenge! Yeah. Still definitely have more stuff to do though. I have a ring challenge for you. I don't want it. Giving me a ring? <laughs> Patrick. Yes. A whole oh, sorry for cutting you off. They'll appear as you drive along the way. You have a limited time to drive through each ring. If you go through all the rings, I'll reward you. I'm not gonna do that. Because rings are dumb. Rings are a big pain. So, we'll probably just do... What is it? Two more? Hopefully two more... Races? How many tokens do you have? Wanna try a time challenge? I'm challenged all the time. Thank you, Patrick. I love Patrick's dialogue. Good one, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? You'll have a set time limit to get to the end of the road. If you finish in less than the set time, I'll reward you. Thing is, with this one being so linear, I don't really know what the challenge is and completing it quickly. Also, how many tokens do I have? Could you please show me? How many tokens do I have? How do I see how many tokens I have? Wait a minute. I feel like I should see how many tokens I have somewhere on the screen. You don't see it when you're, you're on a paddy wagon level, I guess. Because the HUD's different. Whatever. We don't have 40 yet, I'm pretty sure, so... And if we do... 
have 40 already? We're still gonna need more Goofy Group tokens for the last pad wagon level to be unlocked. Oh darn those. I can't just go away. Go away! I probably have plenty of spare time anyways, but I forgot that was one of the ones you can go through. Because you can go through some buildings and not others. I like how I have a variety of horns. But none of them are the one that I want to have right now. Okay, at the very least. There shouldn't be much challenge to finishing this. On time. Since it's just the default time challenge. And there's not really anything you can do to take ridiculously really long time here or anything. There's no reason to take the outer... Oh, never mind. So I say, there's no reason to take the outer one, because on the inner one, it's turning more tightly, so it's faster. And you don't run into anybody, but no, you still run into the same cars. This episode may or may not end up kind of long, I'm not sure. Because I also have stuff to cut out. We'll see. This one you cannot go through. This one you can. It's probably faster to go through this one. As small as it is, I kind of appreciate the characters actually acknowledging you're taking a, an alternate path. Just saying something about it. Simple, sufficient route to take, but... It's nice to clean up some of those manliness points. Where's all this goo coming from? Where'd that building go? That's a little weird. Ah, darn, I want that one to hit me. That's the only I like getting hit by. Alright, though. Here we go. I like how they finish off with a little bridge jump. And it's such a small one, too. Is that the scene you on the right? Alright, how many tokens do we have now? Game doesn't tell me. Now I have Game, a stop hiding things from me. Mindy, we're ready. What do we do? Rings will appear on the road. Go through each ring before it disappears. If you get through them all, I'll reward you. I don't want that though. Okay, so let's go somewhere else and see how many tokens we actually have. Thirty-nine. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I prefer to do it now, so we can actually start off an extra coin session with the with Plantopolis, because that's kind of a big deal. So I'll run through this one real quick, and I'm probably gonna go over episode time in doing so. You SpongeBob, you have problems today. Yeah, we did, but I'm more concerned about SpongeBob. I'm also kind of curious how they do the how they render Mendy on that thing, because you, you can you can look at it from different angles, so you know it's not just like a Mendy model that's behind the clam. It's interesting. SpongeBob. I like how he size visible pupils too. Are they actually his pupils are actually a different part of his model? Apparently, that's interesting. I like to stop and smell the anemones. SpongeBob. And old tires. Well, try sliding quickly instead. If you make it under the allotted time, you'll earn a reward. Okay, so it's only SpongeBob outside of the tub that has a messed up model. Because here, it's just one big model. Sandra Patrick in the tub. Anyways, though. So this one, I don't remember perfectly, but I should be able to do it regardless, I think, on the first try. How many upgrade points do we have? Eleven. How many do you need to upgrade everything? So there's four, eight, plus six. 
So we would still need a few more to upgrade everything. But I believe I have a general idea of which routes need to take. Did Minnie bother to tell us if the train was still running around here? To actually get through the level instead of looping oh, everywhere. <laughs> okay, so long antennae and sparkling antennae combined with small foggers has an interesting effect. I might need to turn off small foggers later, actually, because it might be kind of annoying not to be able to see them as well if I have a bunch of foggers running around next to me. I don't know. If, I don't remember if there are ever any parts in playing Topless where you really get ambushed by a bunch of foggers, because they mostly moved on to tougher enemies. But those playing topless foggers are pretty hardcore, as you saw in the Now That We're Men challenge, combat challenge. So I actually, for some reason I initially thought that the combat arena challenge with the Merv was the one in, and this one didn't exist, but was in Shell City That Head. Shell City Deadhead doesn't have a combat arena challenge. But the way it usually goes is you fight enemies from the next level. So I figured it would be in Shell City Deadhead so that you fight enemies from the next level, that being Planktopolis. But I was wrong. So I accidentally ended up fighting that Merv there anyways, but it worked out. Off we go. I do have to say though, the compared to the paddy wagon especially, the slides have pretty good cornering. Stuff you do slides in. The bathtub as as well as the clam and crown. Where are we carrying that crown by the way, now that I think about it? speedy route. Oh, you know, I think one of the, yeah, the treasure chest, I'm, treasure chest I'm missing was just down below me just now, I think. Uh, is this actually, I wonder if that actually brings you forward or not. I might have just gone through a loop. Do not quite recall. I'm not paying that much attention to where I'm going. Oh, I did just do a loop. Whoops. Okay, we're at the end anyways. What's that stuff in the sky behind her? Not especially impressive. SpongeBob, please. What texture even is that? I've got a real challenge for you two. I don't want a real challenge. Three-legged race? Spelling shuffleboard backwards? Oh no! <laughs> Patrick's voice actor loves adding little bits after the line at the end, which is unfortunate because I tend to skip them by accident. No, rings will appear along this slide. You have a limited time to get through each ring. I'll reward you if you get through every ring. Which I won't. So that'll be it for this episode of the no upgrade run of Spongebob movie. I'll see you guys the next time in the next episode when we head on off here. Planktopolis, and we actually start taking on Planktopolis. So we, I do wholly intend to finish this next sitting. Oh, this is going to be a heck of a place. It's still going to be a pain, believe me. Places an adventure, no matter how, no matter how you approach it. Anyways, bye everyone.